السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today, إن شاء الله, we're going to solve questions related one question related to topic uh, six circular motion, relative uh, velocity, and uh, mechanic at the same time. So the question uh, says, I B and E one sitting on opposite sides of a merry-go-round. which is rotating at constant speed around a fixed center. The diagram below, this diagram below shows the view from above. As you're looking at them from above, here we have E1 and uh, I beam. They're sitting facing each other and may go around. It's rotating in this direction. Now, IB uh, is moving at speed one meter per second relative to the ground. So here I have relative speed. How can I write this one? I have for IB, I'm, I'm going to use the letter A, the first letter relative to the ground. I'm going to use the letter G. So this is the velocity. This one, the velocity of of uh, I B relative to the ground. Determine the magnitude. Determine the magnitude of the velocity of I B relative to E1. So I need. Determine the magnitude of the velocity. Of I B. relative to E1. So I need to find the first letter. I'm going to use A and here I'm going to use E. So the velocity of I, B, A relative to E1. This is how we write the relative velocity. First letter relative to, I'm going to use the second letter. So this one question mark. Okay, and uh, double I, the center of Uh, Mary go round. The center of Mary go round. So I need to find the velocity of Mary go round. I'm going to take letter M relative to what? Relative to the ground. Okay. Now, when we write relative speed, I need to find the first part, the velocity of IB relative to E1. So first, I will write an equation. When we write an equation, we have to set up a formula using subscript. How we're going to align the subscript? First, I have the velocity of IB relative to the ground plus the velocity of the ground relative to E1. So when we write The formula we have to write the velocity each velocity subscript started with the letter with the letter that ended the preceding velocity subscript now the velocity for ib relative to the ground we have it here it's one the velocity this one i have two options Either I have the velocity of the ground, AB relative to the ground. I can write it like this. If I assume the velocity of E1 relative to the ground is one, in this case, the velocity of the ground, when I swap, it's a vector. I'm, I'm, I'm adding vectors, so I have to change the sign the velocity of the ground relative to e1 it will be negative one so this one minus one it will give me zero or the other option i could have the other option because it's not it's not specifying the question i could have the velocity of e1 relative to the ground equal negative one in this case when i swap it will become velocity of the ground relative to E1, it will become one. So I have two options, either one minus one or one plus one will give me two meter per second, meter per second.
OK, now part double I, the same question. I need the velocity, the velocity of Mary go round, of Mary go round relative to the ground. The velocity of Mary go round relative to the ground. Mary go round is not moving. So its velocity is zero meter per second. OK. Now, I need also to find the velocity of of uh, IB relative to Mary go round. The velocity of IB. The velocity of IB A relative to Mary go round. So I have to set up my equation. I can write it as velocity of IB relative to the ground plus the velocity of the ground relative to Mary go round. And this one I have also two options. The first one, IB relative to the ground, we have it one plus plus the velocity of uh, ground relative to Mary ground relative to Mary go round is zero, and this will give me one meter per second, or or I could have one and this one I can assume it's it's moving with velocity one. So in this case, it's one minus one when I change the sign minus one, it will give me zero meter per second. So here velocity of merry go round relative to the ground, it's either one or or it's either zero meter per second or one meter per second. This is part the uh, uh, part A of the question. Now, same question. We have uh, part B. I'm going to solve C. OK. Part B, explain why Abby feels as if her upper body is being thrown out uh, words away from the center you this you're going to use the newton first law inertia we have a change in uh, 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 upper body will continue to move with the same uh, speed tangential to the uh, circle so uh, explain it using the uh, moment of inertia now see e1 is rotating on a merry-go-round and drags his foot along the ground to act as a brake. The merry-go-round comes to stop after four rotations. So the number of rotation here I have in four rotations. Four rotations. The radius of merry-go-round is 1.5. The radius of merry-go-round R Radius is 1.5 meter. The average frictional force between his foot and the ground. So here I have the frictional force. F frictional equal 45 Newton. Calculate the work done. Now work, the formula for work equals force times D in the same direction. OK, now what is the distance? Distance it's moving in a circle, so the circumference of a circle 2 pi r times the number of rotation n. So it will be 2 pi. So here I'm going to solve it here. Force is 45. D is 2 pi times radius radius is 1.5 times number of rotation i have four and this will give me 
1,700 joule. 1,700 joule. D, same question. IB moves so that she is sitting at distance 0 0.75. 0 0.75, it's half the, just half the radius, half 1.5. From the center of merry-go-round, from here, from the center. E1 pushes the merry-go-round so that he is again moving at one meter per second relative to the ground. So this velocity is the velocity of E1 relative to the ground. One meter per second, one meter per second. Determine IB's speed relative to the ground. So I need the IB speed relative to the ground. And calculate the magnitude of IB's acceleration. OK. Now, from the previous uh, uh, section of the same question, if you remember, uh, IB relative to the ground was one meter per second when the radius was 1.5 meter. Now I have the radius is 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is half 1.5. That means his velocity, her velocity will be less by what? By half. So I will have half exactly meter per second. Calculate uh, IB's acceleration. She's moving in a circle. IB is moving in a circle, so the acceleration will be centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration, A, C, will equal velocity square divided by the radius R. Velocity, it's half square divided by 0.75, and this will be 0.33 meter per second square. That's it.